It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season as it'll be the Aviators of Buenos Aires taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second down now, Wilkinson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Man open, that's Anthony Schwartz. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 
Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. One down, only about 500 more to go this season. He would certainly welcome most of his passes this year going as well as that. Now that the first one is over, time to settle into a groove and begin the long journey towards Week 18 and hopefully the playoffs. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Powell's throw here into the hands of Jones. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 25 yards there on the catch and run. First red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. They'll try the left side. Wilkinson. And he goes backwards here. Losing yardage back to the 16. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Javante Williams, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are on the board here first in the season opener. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass, let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Extra point and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 7 nothing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return is Cooper from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Play fake. Got his man. It's Jonathan Mingo. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Now he can exhale. His season is officially underway. Plenty of work done during the offseason, camp, and the preseason that led to that first throw of the year. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a guy who went to prep school right here in Philly, DeAndre Swift. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Here we go. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They go play action. Young. 
He's got Mingo. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 31-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. First down, Aviator. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 31. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Two yards to go, second down. Fight, fight. Uh, it's Young off play action, rolling to his right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there, and I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him, because right now... And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. DeAndre Swift taking it in from two yards out, and the Aviators respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. Come on, 
One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Wilkinson. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Pal to the air on first and 10. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Valus Jones is intended receiver. And it's second down. Throwing here, Howell. That is complete downfield. The net. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dawson Knox. And the Eagles have taken the lead. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return is Cooper from his end zone. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Ready. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and 10. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Al, he'll look to throw it. He gets this to Jones over the middle. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Called on a very strong gain of 24. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. He'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's gonna wind up incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've gotta tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now Jason Sanders for the field goal try. 
from the left hand. Should be a fairly easy one here. Sanders' kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. On the return is Cooper from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Come on, set. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Now second and three. Once again, it's Swift. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 48 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Let's go. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Ready. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Young, he's going to change it up. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. They'll try to throw now. Young. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. They kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now third down and very long. Young. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game. And the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game. And now it brings up fourth down. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds. So they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material.
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. to throw. Howell. And he can't escape and down he goes. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. The Eagles send out their punter now. Deep to return is Darius Davis. Take it at the 37. Well, a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Great, great. Black Ultra. We get it. 97. That punt. They run out of the gun with Swift. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Out of the gun, it's Young. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Young trying to hurry them up to the line here. Young looking to throw on second down. And his throw here is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll take this one down to the 36. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Tucker's kick is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to 10. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And that's caught inside the 30. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll go play action. Howell. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here's second and 10. 
And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and 10. And Howe will throw it. And this is going to be intercepted. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Final play of the half, Young. Uncorks one for Davis. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. With a fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11 to throw Young. Say it's incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. On the option to give to Swift here, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four on the first down play. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Young working out of the gun. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. 23 yards the pick up there. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Looking to throw, Young. Open man is Mingo, complete. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. Now 
here's Young. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to compete. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it on. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though, that shot at six ended in an interception, and we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? That's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Right back to him on first down. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. As to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays that need to continue to convert. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. They'll run on first down. Wilkinson, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Here's Hal. That's going to be caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 23 yards on the play. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a club, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. He gets this down to the three. Brought the power run out of the bag, but couldn't do a ton with it. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Al now to throw it. Flushed out right. A oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. It's Sidney Brown with it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. That's tough 
Smith there starting to mount a good drive. Quarterback lets his guard down for just a moment, and it's going to bite him. Yeah, I was just about to remark how controlled the game they were here in this third quarter, but that return for six points, we now have a game again. Tucker with the extra point, and that will level the playing field at 17 all. Justin Tucker set to kick off. Seventeen, seventeen, the score. All even to this point as the kicks away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, Patton, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field without even the sidelines to run for it for very long. Well. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now how? That's caught inside the 20. A big play that time through the air. 49 yards. It'll be first and goal when we come back. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Powell. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Once you get into the red zone, spaces at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Partner, it's been my experience that after two stops like that near the goal line, defense has only become bolder. They don't back off at all. I think they continue to bring pressure and force them to make a really big play against them. And the incompletion, then the run for no gain. Let's see now. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Operating from the gun. Howell. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Sam Howell. And the Eagles have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And Davis contend just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Perry on the move to the right. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
And that's about the easiest decline call you'll ever have right there. Well, it leads me to one of my pet peeves, and maybe peeves is too strong of a word. Ready, but if you're going to jump off sides, finish the play. Make sure the play yeah, ends. Yeah. Don't jump off sides and stop because you see the net result here. If you go ahead and finish the play, Check you don't right. give up that type of yardage. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. 86 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 38-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and 10. Young off the play fake. after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Back to the running game with Swift. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, it went the free safety coming up and making the big-time play. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. seven leaves him with a second and three that's a strong pickup right there on first down and as this drive goes on we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will here's second and three a pitch out to swift here and he goes backwards here losing yardage back to the 16. Call that a loss of a yard and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. <laughs> expected they're going for it to keep the drive alive and that is incomplete the fourth down pass play doesn't work out and this 11 play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard they'll start this drive out on the ground and i think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line the fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. 
the gun. It's Howell. This one complete to Yoshibas. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Flush to his right. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Good, clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Here's first and ten. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Well, this one's had a season's worth of throws already, but it's still week one. Here's third down now. Young. Receiver and incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Ready? No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult. Uh, Young here, you can see, changing the play. Try and run it in. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. This is first and ten. Here's Howell. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Here's second down. Powell to throw. 
Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. C.D. always a little extra excited.